Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 25th, 2019. This is my 18th episode about crap in C++. In this episode, we will learn about C++ static polymorphism and mixing. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio Code. Under CPP extension, select graph subfolder, click this button, 18 static polymorphism.cpp hit enter control v control plus include pop play fun output hpp pop play fun ss stream stream auto and there pop play fun and there now we define a class, template class using mixin template type name callback types struct callbacks public callback types here using callback types operator we declare callback type operator function call operator like this. This type of programming is called mixing. Okay, we take variadic template parameter and we inherit from variadic template parameters like this. And we need to define template argument deduction guide. I will copy this part paste callbacks callback types this is constructor specification this is constructor specification then we specify type callbacks callback types okay this is constructor this is type so this is called Periodic template argument deduction guide. This way of programming is called mixing. Okay, with this void test callbacks int main, we call this function now from here. We define lambda closer like this. Auto handle integer. I say handle int. Int value stream integer value. Value and uh, auto handle double double value. Don't forget semicolon here. Stream double value value and auto handle constant character constant character name string your name is name now auto catch all auto value stream unclassified value so we defined one 
two, three, four lambda functions. These are called the closer, lambda closer. Now we define a type called the callback like this. Callback handle callbacks. Please note that this is constructor. This is constructor. So we provide int as argument and handle double double then handle constant character type constant character type now catch all catch all so we define the callback like this this callback comes from here don't forget semicolon here don't forget semicolon after closer definition now here callbacks we are calling function calls this lambda creates a function call function call operator this is function call operator lambda defines function call operator so this is integer value callbacks and 22.0 7.0 this is double callbacks this is constant character name command skin now callbacks no 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 we have to call handle like this an instance okay now this time we provide std string unclassified so in this case we are passing unclassified data now start command prompt cls G plus plus SCD C plus plus seventeen eighteen static polymorphism dot CPP hit enter CLS so we are calling this handle callback operator each lambda defines function call operator you probably wonder if such kind of programming technique is any useful yes this programming technique is very useful for processing variant i will copy this function up to this point i copied it and pasted it here i will change the name test variants or test variant I will copy the function name and paste it here I will disable it from here we now define a variant std variant int double constant character pointer I will define it using variant t so i defined a type variant variant t b okay i defined a variant variant can take any value from this here i specify variant 5 okay now we can access variant like this std beast handle 
convex. This object it comes from here and the B variant. Okay. Now I call this function. I build once again CLS. So integer value of five. Now we modify the value. 22.0 divided by 7.0 I call this function once again or I can even define a capture like this auto handle variant so I pass B and I call capture this like this. I captured and created the handle variant. Now I can say like this. First handle variant. I can even do this to make it more generalized. Or be like this. Then B handle variant B B now Thomas Kim handle variant B now let's run this program CLS now it handles properly this value integer value comes from this message and this handle variant comes from here this message comes from here and the handle variant comes from here so we are basically using std beast and this callback std beast is introduced to c++ 17 standard to handle variant to take advantage of std variant and std beast we need to understand what is mixing what is periodic template argument deduction and this kind of programming technique before i close this episode i would like to remind you one thing if we try with clang compiler clang plus plus it does not work. Okay. CLS Clank plus plus version. This version of Clank is on Windows platform MC64 Minji W64 bit on Windows. Clank version 8.0.0. In this case, it does not work. Clang++ does not work for variant on MC64 Minji W64 on Windows. You have to install Beast this link and download and install Windows 64 bit by clicking this link. I already installed. In this case, program files LLVM. This is for this build. Okay, in this case, Clang++, STD, C++17, X, Clang, FLTO, Visibility, Public, STD, 18, Static, Holy morphism dot cpp hit enter then it works okay please understand this point i will upload the complete source code of this episode to my website extension talkplayfun.com by the time you watch this video you can click this link to download complete source code if you unzip the downloaded file, 
On the grab subfolder, you can find the complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.